I can find it. Hold on for one second. I want to I wanna show you something else, yeah. if I can find it real quick. Sorry that I and, didn't. And another little secret in that scripture, he said, our enemies have been found liars because Esau, Esau ain't telling nobody that this is our heritage, that shield. He not telling you that. He telling you otherwise. Yeah. You know, he put it out there like we just said. He put it out there on the streets like it's some gang type of affiliation or symbol to certain people. Yeah, and then they take it. They take it. Them gutter rats take it mm -hmm. and got it up as they flag, yeah. like it's part of their heritage. Like it's part of their heritage, you know. You know, and that's why I say they've been found liars, man. You know, uh, Job thirteen and four. You got the forge of the liars, man. That's that's Esau. That's Esau. You know? Give me uh, Revelation chapter twenty. You come out and see. Okay. Yeah. That's part of Revelation. Revelation twenty. Yeah. Twenty devil come out. Start, uh, oh, sorry. Well, you can go straight to the point. You know. Uh, verse three. Yeah, read that. Yeah, Revelation twenty and three. It says, and cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and sealed, and set a seal up on him. Yeah, the bottomless pit is over there in Europe. That's when we were ruling during the Dark Ages. Yeah. Uh, uh, the Holy Roman Empire. Okay. Yeah. The Byzantine Empire. That's when we were ruling. Okay. okay. We had Esau in slavery. Okay. Yeah. To shut him up. That's, yeah. 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 All right. I said that he shall deceive the nations no more till the thousand years shall be fulfilled. So we rule for a thousand years. Start, we started with uh, September Severus in 193 AD, and then we jumped from, uh, from uh, Constantine Noble all the way up to uh, 1453. Really, you can start at uh, 1453 and go back to Constantine Noble around 325 or some, somewhere up in there. Is when they had a uh, uh, stronghold over there in Turkey, uh, Constantinople, or uh, Istanbul, you know, over there in Turkey, the Byzantine Empire. So from that time, we ruled for a thousand years. But that's when you really start counting. But they start uh, being overthrown by Septimius Severus, which was a so called black man. Right. Instead, he shall deceive the nations no more until the thousand years be fulfilled. And after that, he must be loose a little season. Now, he shall deceive the nation no more because Esau will conquer a nation and take on their heritage. That's what he would do. You can read in the Josephus, they tell you plain today, when they came into power, uh, the Greeks came into power, they started taking on everybody else's uh, heritage and saying it was them. Even speeding up into today, today, just like you see today in the modern time, you watch the movies, Esau is everybody up under the sun but Esau. You see, he 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 claimed to be everybody but himself, which is the Edomite, and take everybody heritage in every movie. You see? But that's them, man. That's their characteristic. They they set up to deceive, they set up to deceive the nation. Which is which? Basically, we really talking about the Negro, Latino, the Native American to not know who they are and not help, and not have them cling to their own heritage. They've been de they've been deceived, you know. Right. Finish that off. Right. And it says, and after he must be loose for a little season, and he loose right now. After when that thousand years, when that thousand years was over in 1453. That little season, boom, came with Christopher, Christopher Cologne, which known, we know him as Christopher Cologne, but you know him as Christopher Columbus, okay? Which he took that name from a, uh, from a, uh, from a merchant, just like him that was on a ship who had died. And he was, a, and Christopher Columbus, saying it like that so you can understand, which was a gutter rat. And the gutter rat funded, uh, uh, that the finance of Christopher Columbus to come over wasn't uh, Isabella and uh, Ferdinand. It was them gutter rats, okay? So-called so -called Jewish people, you know, them Amalekites, okay? That's their biblical nationality. And this is what I was looking for in this book, Nature Knows No Color Line by Jay Rogers. Show them that shit with Nature Knows No Color Line. Pretty sure y'all brothers seen that, but to the ones who haven't, Jay Rogers, this is page 88.
coats of arms. It says Negroes in the coast of arms of noble families. Uh, this was a Germany family, German German family, not yep, wearing crowns and uh, uh, Archbishop Mitris. If you look right there, see that right there? That's the Shield of David. That's in Germany. So what are they doing with it? What are they doing with it over there? Ain't in Spain, and then you had Gad, the North American Indian, and Issachar with the shield of David, which are the so-called Mexicans, with the same shield of David on statue. Explain that. You know, that's part of our heritage, which the white men uh, have taken and deceived the masses of the uh, people that the, that the true biblical Hebrew Israelites uh, uh, saying that they have nothing to do with that shield, which that is part of our heritage. And amongst our people who are set up and been deceived, they would teach the same thing because they're corrupt, man. They believe the white man and they're trying to pull you away from your true heritage. So we, those are the records that we just showed you, the artifacts and the pictures proving that this shield was amongst our people, the Negro Latinos and Native Americans. This picture right here is in England. If you look on his strap right there, that's really like the shield of David too, but it's got like a circle in the middle, which would put you in the mind of a so-called today, when you see a police officer badge, that's what it looks like, but it's a shield of David also, and that's in England. That was a brother in England, uh, of the Scots Guard, 1750. So you can't get around it. So, so, when you see us out here, we just proved to you that it's part of our habit. So when you see us out here and you reject what we're teaching because you see us with the shit of David on, that's your fault. It's a stumbling block unto you. And you error not knowing the history nor nor the scripture. Okay? Now, he's gonna go into uh uh let me see. We finna go into Matthew's uh, 10 and uh what is it, John 10 and 22, I wanna say. Uh let me see if you hated me for being safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, nah, John, John, John uh 10 and 16. Yeah, and we're gonna link that up with uh Ezekiel 37. John 10 and 16. Got it. John 10 and 16. And other sheep I have which are not of this fold. Which he's talking about is the sheep of the lost tribe of Israel that was on this side uh, when they lost, when they was kicked out of that land by the Mosai in Samaria. Uh, when they were taken captive by the Assyrians. So here it is who the world in called Jesus saying, look, I have sheep not of this fold because you had Judah, Benjamin, and Levi on that side at that time when he was on the scene. And then majority of the tribes, the ten tribes from Ephraim to Manasseh to Gad to Zebulon to Asher, they came over here. They came over here on this side. So here he is explaining he got sheep which are not of this fold, which he was talking about the southern kingdom, because you had the northern kingdom and you had the southern kingdom, which uh, that was split up during the time of Solomon. Okay, so here it is, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorant called Jesus, is telling, look, explaining to him, I have sheep not of this fold. Go ahead. It says, and other sheep I have which are not of this fold, them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and they shall be one fold. In one in one shepherd. Uh huh. So he telling you, look, he got sheep that got to hear his voice. So did the Lord come on this side? Yes, and we gonna prove it. Give me uh, Ezekiel 38, 37. Yeah, twenty two. Yeah, we gonna read that, and we gonna we gonna go into it how the Lord came over here. Come, Ezekiel thirty seven and twenty two. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel. And one king shall be king to all, and they shall be no more two nations. Yep, because remember, going back to Solomon, during the time of Solomon, they got split up, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Okay, go ahead. It says, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. Neither shall they 
defile themselves. Neither shall they defile themselves anymore with their idols, nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places wherein they have sinned and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people and I will be their power. Yeah, jump, uh, what, you, what number is that? 23. Jump up to 15. It says, Ezekiel 37 and 15, the word of Yahweh came again unto me saying, moreover thy son a man take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph the stick of Ephraim and for all the house of Israel his companions and join them one to another into one stick and they shall become one in thy hand yeah that's going into the 12 tribe sign that we have out here okay when you when when, when the negro latinos and native americans come by and they want to know why we got this sign out here it's because the heavenly father set us up to bring this to bring this out here and, and set this sign up so the negro latinos and native americans know who they are according to the bible we, we're able to explain it to them Okay, through the spirit. Verse 18. And when the children of thy people shall speak unto thee, saying, Will thy not show us what thou meanest by these? Say unto them, Thus saith the Lord Yahweh thy power. Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in thy hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel his fellow, and will put them with, with him, even with the stick of Judah and make them one stick, and they shall be one in my hand. Verse 20, And the sticks whereupon thy writer shall be in thine hand before thy, their eyes. Verse 21, And say unto them, Thus said Yahweh thy power, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whether they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. Right. So that's gonna happen. That's a future prophecy. That's gonna happen. Now, I got this. Uh, I got this book proving that the Howard shot came on this side. Now we're gonna jump around. This the first one. You know, this the first one. Uh, and then we're gonna then we're gonna go back to how they we're gonna go back to how uh how the native how the uh tribe left that land from over there on the other side how they left uh the captivity of uh Assyria and came on this side after we explain how Yahweh Shah came over there. Who the word Henry called Jesus. Ronald Wright Stolen Continent. It says, this is uh, page 234, and it says, It appeared that his hands and his feet were torn by iron nails. Then said the man, they slew me. So I have gone home to shut the doors of heaven, that they may not see me again until the earth passes away. Now it is rumored that you, handsome lake, are but a taller with spirits. Yeah. But a talker with spirits. So Hansel Lake was a native. Okay? Cause he came cause Yahweh Shai, who the world ended called Jesus, he came up here to South uh to North America and he was in South America. In South America, the Mexican the, the so called uh, Mexican know him as Quetzalcoatl, you know, the feathery serpent. And we're gonna prove that too. Let's go ahead. God, it says of him who is murdered now tell your people that they will become lost when they follow the ways of the white man hey that's powerful right there so what happened to the natives that was in this land soon soon the so-called white man came over here what happened they lost their nationality they not they lost their true heritage and it's not being taught to them uh till this day by the so-called uh, white society, the white setup. 
but it's being talked to them by the by the men that set up to come out here and teach on the highways and the byways. Go ahead. It says, so Amasiak himself warns against Christianity. Oh, what? It's that so-called that so-called Christianity that's set up in these churches, that Roman Catholic madness. Because what they believe in is this. See the boys here. And the Lord never looked like that. They tell you that in Revelation 1 and 13, Daniel 10 and 5. Okay? How the Lord really looked. He never looked like this. He looked more like this right here. This is the art and rend uh, rendition of how the Lord, uh, 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 how he looks according to the Bible. But we know this is not actually him, but he looked more like this right here. This Caesar Borgia, the second son of Alexander the uh, Alexander the uh, Pope the Sixth of Rome. You see? Uh, it says, so Masiak himself warned against Christianity. Warns against Christianity. That Roman Catholic met with that going in the Baptist, Pentecostal, name some more. Uh, Baptist, Pentecostal, uh, Methodist, Methodist, Islam, Seven Day of Venice, Church of God, Christ, Mormons, Koji, uh, all that madness, Islam, all that madness, Latter Day Saints, all that madness, Hindu, Hindu, all that madness. Yeah. You see, read that, read that stuff from the top because again. It says it appeared that his hands and his feet were torn by iron nails. Then said the man, they slew me. So I have gone home to shut the doors of heaven that they may not see me again until the earth passes away. Now it is rumored that you, handsome lake, are a but a talker with spirits. Now it, it is true that I am a spirit of him who was murdered. Now, now tell your people that they will become lost when they follow the ways of the white man. Oh. So Yahweh Shah himself warns against Christianity, yet Handsome Lake drew from Christianity. He drew from it, just like we got, just like the old people uh, did today. So he would be a stiff neck. He warned, he was warned, but eventually became stiff neck, and all our people joined that Christianity madness. So the Lord himself, who the world ended called Jesus, came over him in a vision to him. You see? Just like he came to a vision. To John the Revelator on the island of Patmos, same way, just like he came to a vision to Daniel when he was uh, in the Persian uh, captivity by the Tigris River, same way. You see? But, uh, uh, we can, uh, okay, you can drop that. But give them that book, name it, uh, show, show them the uh, highlighted part. Show them the highlighted part. Sure. They won't say you made it up. <laughs> so y'all can uh, pause it and read it yourself. Stolen Continents by uh, Ronald Wright. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, uh, we're going to go to John. We're going to go to John. Uh, John uh, 19 and 19. And we're going to look read a little bit of that about Yahweh Shai when he, when he was crucified. Okay. You know? You can read all, really, you can read down to, uh, really, 36, John. 19, all the way down to 36. John. John, 19 and 19, and Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross in the writing. The writing was Jesus of Nazareth, the King of Jews. This title then read many of the Jews for the place where Yahweh Shai was crucified was nigh to the city. And it was written in Hebrew and Greek and Latin. So you had many other Israelites, which is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, was over there at that time, reading it in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Okay? Because it was written for them. Okay, go ahead. Then said the chief priest of the Jews to Pilate, Write not the king of the Jews, but that I that he said I am the king of the Jews. Pilate answered, 
what I had written, I had written. Then the soldiers, when they had crucified Yahweh Shai, took his garments and made four parts to every every soldier a part, and also his coat. Now the coat was without seam, woven from the top there, there out, throughout. Verse 24, they said, therefore among themselves, let us not rend it, but cast lots with Who is it shall be? That the scripture might be fulfilled, which says, they parted my remnant among them, and for my vesture they did cast lots. These things, therefore, the soldiers did. Verse 25. Now there stood by the cross of Yahweh Shai's mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of uh, Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Yahweh Shai therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he beloved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciples, Behold thy mother. And, and from that hour, the disciples took her unto his own, into his own home. Mm -hmm. It says, after this, Yahweh Shai, knowing that all these were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. Now, there was set a vesture full of vinegar. Yeah, and when you look up that, and when you look that up, when you look them words up, what they did was mix it with piss. Okay, when you look them words up, what they did was mix it with piss, and they tried to give them piss mixed in that. You know, go ahead. Okay. Now there was sent a vesture full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put upon it upon Hysop, and put it in his mouth. When Yahweh Shai therefore received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Oh, I'm sorry, that's that's wrong. It's when he gave him the cup. 